It's now been three years since a mob rushed the U.S. Capitol on January 6. President Biden, in his first campaign speech of the year, directly criticized former President Trump for his actions on that day. Mr. Trump is the leading GOP candidate, and this year we could see a rematch of the 2020 election, even as the former president faces legal and political challenges related to January 6. CBS's Christian Benavides reports. For Capitol Police Officer Thomas Lloyd, images of January 6, 2021 still haunt him. By the end of the day, it was tens of thousands against hundreds of officers. A sea of rioters stormed the Capitol. Some beat police, calling them traitors. Some chanted, hang Mike Pence. In the House chamber, a group of House members were trapped. They came 10 seconds from getting to us. A single shot fired by police struck Ashley Babbitt, stopping the search. Over the course of three years, the Justice Department has arrested nearly 1,200 people, securing guilty pleas from more than half. On Saturday, a small gathering outside the Justice Department took place in support of the defendants. This week, President Biden gave a speech meant to remind Americans of Trump's involvement. It was among the worst derelictions of duty by a president in American history. Going to walk down to the Capitol. With Trump running to return to the White House, he continues to falsely say there was election fraud, a claim echoed by the rioters, promising to pardon them. Look at what's happened with the J6 hostages. The hostages, that's a horrible thing. A new CBS News poll shows while only 30% of Republicans approve of the actions of those who forced their way into the Capitol, most say they support pardons. Christian Benavides, CBS News. Officials say they are still seeking about 80 defendants who remain fugitives, and today the FBI arrested three of those fugitives in Florida on charges related to January 6th.